everyone, my name is Jacob and welcome to another developer update. We are very excited to show you the progress we have made since our last video. As some of you might know, we have been running a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo. We want to give a huge shout out to all our backers. Your contribution is extremely beneficial to the continued development of Renown. As of making this video, we have raised just over $100,000. We're absolutely blown away with the support we've received so far. We've also set up a personal crowdfund on our website for anyone having trouble with Indiegogo. Both links can be found in the description. Another major aim for our crowdfunding campaign was to give us the resources needed to launch our combat alpha. We are very proud to say that it's successfully underway. We did, however, have some initial problems with the distribution of keys. If you are inconvenienced by this, we'd like to personally apologize and thank everybody for the incredible patience that they've shown. The point of this alpha, though, is exactly as the name suggests, to test the combat and gather valuable information to refine and build upon. We also have several prototype game modes in the works, including Team Deathmatch, Last Team Standing, and Duels. We hope the players will be able to test these very, very soon. Another feature we are very proud to announce is our first integration of the customization system. Again, this is still an early prototype, but we decided to let our testers have a crack at it. Being an early system, it's still rudimentary, but we hope this will help demonstrate our plans for the level of control that we want players to have when designing their clan colors in the future. The next area of development the art team has been itching to show off is our environment overhaul. Delta and KZ have spent many hours working with Unreal's PhotoScan Quixel assets to create brand new environments that we believe is leagues above our existing maps. Performance was the number one priority when working with such high quality assets. With some extra help from the people at Epic themselves and countless hours from our own team, we are very happy with the outcome of environment optimization. It really goes to show what some hard work can accomplish and work on this note will continue with optimizing the environment further and adding some extra biomes for the full survival mode. One of the new additions helping us to develop Renown is a fantastic sound designer. They have gone through and started replacing every single one of our current audio assets. Please remember this is just an initial overhaul so we could remove our placeholders and will be expanded on in the future, but I'll let the sounds speak for themselves. Emotes have now been added into the game. We feel emotes are needed for social interaction enjoyed in survival games. We hope to add more emotes and the ability for players to pick and choose what they have access to when playing. Hopefully this will result in no two players having the same set and will add an extra level of individuality throughout the world. The implementation of new UI has begun. You can see here that we have a bunch of UI that needs to be implemented into the game. While this might seem like a simple job, it's fairly time consuming and is something we're working on implementing over time. We hope with the addition of these new team members, these tasks will be completed a lot faster than we previously imagined. KZ has also been working hard on adding a load of new armor assets and revamping our existing assets. These include a Knight's Hosen and Gambeson, which will be commonly worn under most late game armors or by themselves for a more stylish noble look. A Brigandine set including small pauldrons, quizzes and of course a chest plate for the mid game level of protection. Early game armor sets have also been completely revamped with a new leather set as well as some peasant clothing. new mid and late game helmets have also been added as well as painted variants. A chainmail set for that slashing protection with its own customizable tabard variant for the halberd. And last but not least, the late game armor variants and my personal favorite, the painted knight. We are excited to announce that voice over IP has been added into the game. This is just experimental, but as the player moves around, you can hear the attenuation starts to change. Thanks to our friends at G Portal, we are currently able to test on some very high quality servers. The alpha test is currently running on a bunch of servers over multiple regions, and we hope to expand this to allow low ping testing to a large player base in the near future. 
we are also very pleased to say that we've got our Steam page up and running. If you're a backer or just interested in the project, it could be very helpful if you wishlisted the game. We know every developer asks this, but it's true. It's really helpful to find our place in the Steam algorithm and push the game forward. Thank you once again to all our awesome backers. The support we've received is truly heartwarming. But if you're a backer and haven't received your title, don't forget, is waiting for you on our Discord. Likewise, if you're not already on our Discord, check it out for dev blogs, sneak peeks, and all the latest discussion and questions. Thank you so much for your time and support, and we hope to see you on the battlefield as soon as possible. Before we go, a huge thank you as an order to Resident for helping us with this video. It allows the team to keep their head down developing Renown. So as a big thank you, make sure to go check out his channel. He creates some fantastic content, and we have some more videos in the works together, so stay tuned.